To keep yourself updated, subscribe to Indigo Learn and click the bell icon. Let us now understand the BCG Growth Share Matrix. BCG is a firm by the name Boston Consulting Group which provides consulting services to various businesses. They have devised a matrix which helps to carry out a portfolio analysis. Now portfolio means a portfolio of products. By plotting them on a matrix you can take decision as to whether we should invest more money into it, whether we should stop producing that product. All those inferences can be drawn using a BCG matrix. The BCG matrix uses relative market share of a firm in an industry and the market growth. We can prepare this BCG matrix using two parameters. The first one is market growth rate. So what is the growth rate of the particular market as a whole or what is the growth rate of the industry? It can be a high growth rate, it can be a low growth rate. So on the X axis or on the vertical axis you plot the market growth rate. On the horizontal axis we plot something called relative market share. Again the relative market share can be high, it can be low. So we have high growth, low growth, high relative market share, low relative market share. Friends please remember we are using the term relative market share, we are not saying absolute market share. On a relative basis, how is the market share position? What does the term relative market share means? Relative market share is the market share in relation to the largest competition. Say for example, a company has a market share of 20% and the largest company in the particular market has a market share of 60%. So the firm has 20%, the largest company in the business or in the market has a market share of 60%. So here the relative market share is 2 by 6 meaning market share of the company which we are considering divided by the market share of the largest competition. Now let us look at another scenario. If the company we are studying has a market share of 60% and the next largest market share is 20% meaning the largest market share of the competition that is 20%. Ours is 60%. The largest market share of our competition is 20%. Now here the ratio becomes 60 by 20 which is 3 is to 1. Now this is called relative market share. How much is the company's market share? as compared to the largest competition in the market. Now if this is a higher number, so if it's 3 is to 1 which means a high number, there we can say it has a relatively high market share. But if it has a lower number, in the earlier case as we said 1 by 3, it can be considered as a relatively lower market share. Now these numbers are not fixed, it depends from business to business, it depends from industry to industry. So accordingly we will plot whether it is a relatively high market share or a low market share and whether it is in a high growth market or a low growth market. What is this growth? We already understood it as a part of the product life cycle. So in some phases, the market growth will be lower. In some phases, the market growth will be very high. So by using these four parameters, a high growth, a low growth, a high relative market share and a low relative market share, we have four boxes to fill. If a product is in a market which is a high growth rate and the product has a relatively higher market share, meaning a relative high market share and a relative high growth rate, this category is called star category. It is very important to understand the layout of the matrix so the understanding becomes much easier. A high growth rate and a relatively high market share, it's called a star category product. This is the first category. Then if it is a low growth rate but the market share is still relatively high, I'm talking about the second box, high and high makes it a star. A high relative market share but the market has a low growth rate, this becomes a cash cow. Come to the third part. If the market exhibits a relatively higher growth rate but the company's share or the product share is low, so we are talking about a high growth market and relatively lower market share, we will call it as question mark or a problem child. And the last category where the market share is low and the growth rate is also low, that is called a dog category. So we have stars, cash cow, question mark, dog. High and high makes it star, that is a star performer. High market share and a low growth market makes it a cash cow. Come to the next part, low market share and low growth rate, it makes it a dog and a high growth rate but a low market share makes it a question mark or a problem child. Now these are the four categories. We will understand each of this category and see what kind of decisions can the firm make or a business make, whether to continue, not to continue, whether to invest more money, whether to divest the product, all such decisions can be understood using this matrix. 
the first category is the star category which is a product in a market which has a high growth rate means the market shows a very high growth rate at the same time the product also has a relatively high market share meaning the market is booming the market is growing very fast in the growing market the particular product has a very high market share it's like a win-win situation so because the product has a high market share it will generate a lot of cash but we understood earlier in a product life cycle that when the market is growing very fast, more and more competition would come into the market. Many competitors would find it more attractive. Once they come into the business, the firm will have to spend more money to keep its position intact. So there will be a lot of spending around marketing. Also, to meet the increasing demand, there must be higher investments to create new facilities to increase the capacity. So on one side, there is a high revenue or a high cash inflow. On the other side, there is a high cash outflow. So this is a product which is a star performer in terms of market share, also in terms of volumes, in terms of revenue, and it also consumes a lot of cash. So this is about the star category, something in a high growth market having a higher relative market share. The next category we talked about is the cash cow. Cash cow exists in a market which has a lower growth rate. So again, you go if you go back to the product life cycle, there was a high growth phase and then there is a low growth phase. At that phase, the market growth is low, but the market share, the relative market share of the product is still high. That is called a cash cow. The reason why it is called a cash cow is because the market has already saturated, there is a lower growth, newer competition is not expected. So the higher spends that you see in the category of star in terms of marketing, creating new facilities, new infrastructure, that is not seen in the cash cow. Here, the cash inflows are much higher than the cash outflows and it becomes a net cash inflow for the business. That is the reason we call it as cash cow. If you look at star and cash cow, the only difference is how much money you need to spend to maintain your position. In case of a cash cow, because the market is already matured, because there is no new competition entering into the market, you already have established brand and you have a high relative market share means you are most likely the dominant player in the market. Because of that, this becomes a cash cow. It continuously generate cash and companies can use this cash to sustain the star product. So this is the product which provides the cash or the surplus cash for stars to perform because if stars don't get the required amount of investment, they may fall off. So to sustain those products, cash cow is useful. The next category of product is the question mark or we also refer to it as problem child. Now a question mark is a category where the market growth is high, but the product's relative market share is very low. Now, it's a combination of a high growth market and a relatively low market share. Because the market is growing very high or at a very fast pace, it becomes a good opportunity. But because the product itself has a low market, there is a doubt as to what is to be done with this product. If you are unable to increase your market share or if you are unable to improve your relative market share, then this product may not generate sufficient profits. Now, the thing to do with the question mark is if the opportunity is very attractive, invest some more money, increase its market share and try to move it towards star category. That is one thing that can be done with the question mark. If you cannot increase the market share. Eventually, when the market growth rate also declines and your share itself is low, it falls down into the category called dog. Now, dog is a category where the market share, the relative market share is also low. The market growth is also low. And in the product life cycle, we have seen after the product growth rate subsides, after it becomes mature, eventually it will die down. And similar feat will happen with the dog category. Unless you can increase the market share, which is very less likely, dogs are something which do not provide anything to the business. They are just lying as idle investments. They, they are not cash cows. Now, cash cows is a category where profits are coming in, cash inflows are coming in. In the category of dogs, neither there is much cash inflow. There is a lot of money or investment required to maintain them. So the option available in this case in the category of dog is divest them or dispose the product out or sell these out. Now, if you look at the metaphor used, cash cow versus dogs. Now, dog is something where you put money, where you invest money, but it will not give you cash inflow. But if you look at a cash cow, you feed the cow, the cow will give you milk, which you can sell in the market. And hence, you will get a cash inflow. Let us take some examples of products which are offered by Google and see how do they fit into this matrix. 
Now today, the online video market is growing at a very fast rate because of easily available internet, because of smart devices, the consumption of videos online is very high. Now in a high growth market, Google's product, which is the YouTube, has a very high market share. Now because it has a relatively high market share and it is a high growing market, we can categorize it as star. As and when the market becomes more mature, when the growth rate starts falling, this can convert into a cash cow. As we can see in today's time, search engine is one thing which generates a significant amount of cash for Google. Now, products such as Google Drive, Google Talks, they are also in a high growth market. Means the market, the demand for cloud storage is ever increasing. It's growing at a very high rate. But the share of Google in that segment is not that high because companies like Amazon Web Service, they have a much larger share in the cloud business. Microsoft still has a larger market share. So here, the product has a lower market share relatively, but it's in a high market. Now this becomes a question mark. Now because it is a question mark, Google can either increase the market share, convert it into a star, otherwise gradually it will become a dog and it will die down. If you look at the fourth category, some products of Google like Google Groups, which is not much of relevance today, Orkut which was promoted by Google, a social media platform, from question mark it also became a dog and it was eventually moved out or it was eventually divested. Once a product moves into this dog category, the only choice available to most of the businesses to divest it, to sell it off, collect whatever amount you can collect and put it into other business rather than continuing a business which is in the dog category. So in this way, we can see how different strategies can be used for products which fall in different categories. Another example to understand this BCG matrix is the market share of let's say Samsung in the smartphone market and that of Nokia in the smartphone market. When the smartphone market started showing a higher growth phase, Samsung had a relatively high market share, Nokia had a relative low market share. And what happened? Samsung could convert its smartphone business into a cash cow by retaining a higher market share, whereas Nokia eventually became a dog because as the market became mature, Nokia could not increase its market share. So a low growth, low market share made it a dog and eventually it sold off its business to Windows. So that is where we can understand how one product becomes a dog from a question mark and at the same time for another company product moves from a being a star to being a cash cow a business can choose one of the four strategies depending on where the product lies this strategy is build hold harvest and divest. These are the four actions that a firm can take depending on where the product lies. Now, if the product is lying in the, this category, which is the question mark category, the company should see whether it can build this product, it can add more investment into the product so that this product becomes a star. So, build means the converting the question mark into a star category. Put on more money, increase the market share so that this can be converted to a star category because the growth rate already is high. Can the market share be improved by investing more money into marketing, by investing more money into facilities? So if you build the question mark, it can become a star. If you are in the star category, if the product lies in the star category, the objective is to hold the product, to hold the market share, to keep it intact or to preserve the market share. Don't lose out the market share to your competition because if you can maintain the market share, if you can remain the leader in the market, when the market transforms from a high growth to a low growth market, at that point of time, if you have hold the stars, they can become cash cows. And if your product is a cash cow, the strategy is to harvest. Harvest meaning taking the benefits out of the cash cows. So you have invested a lot of money converting the question mark into a star. You have waited for a long time. Now when it becomes a cash cow, the thing is to generate more money out of it. And if your product lies in the dog category, the choice is to divest. Divest meaning sell off that product or discontinue the product because it is of no use. It will just burn up more cash for the business rather than creating any further cash. Depending on the four different categories, either it you can build, hold, harvest or divest. So wherever the product lies, accordingly the strategies can change. The BCG matrix is very useful for a portfolio analysis. The management can exactly identify where the products lie and 
what is to be done with those products if it is in a dog category you know it has to be divested if it is in a cash cow category you know you have to yield the maximum benefit if it's in a star category you know you have to preserve it so such decisions can be taken easily when you plot the products on a matrix and this is a simple tool to understand where the different products lie and what are the different prospects of those products though this matrix has some advantages it also has certain limitation the first limitation being it's very difficult to get accurate data on the market growth and also sometimes on the market share and these numbers keep on changing the, the the data is quite dynamic and given today's business environment it may not be easy to get those data accurately the second thing is it's also very costly to gather the data and also implement this kind of a matrix because you will need to put on resources who will carefully analyze the data who will carefully analyze your product and put them onto different matrices the other problem with this matrix is just having a high market share does not mean that you'll have higher profits. It may be possible that for some companies, despite having the largest market share, they are not able to generate the maximum profit possible because there could be other operational problems, there could be other financial problems which would result in lesser profits. As a high market share does not necessarily mean high profitability. It also does not mean that a low market share will definitely have lower profitability. In some cases, even with a lower market share, share companies can do better and earn higher profits so this is another limitation of using this matrix alone one more limitation of this matrix is it only talks about the current scenario it does not really give great insights into what all can be done to improve the future it just says you can take certain strategies to improve the future prospects but specifics of what can be done in the future is not prescribed by this particular matrix and also just to use a market share model it is very simplistic it's making all assumptions very simple it's ignoring the profit part it igno it's ignoring the cost part it's ignoring the parts how industries change quickly with the changes in technologies things may not be really long-lived so certain assumptions they may not hold good especially in today's scenario when we talk about startup companies where we talk about technology firms where things change very fast so such kind of analysis by the time you arrive at the result it may really not be useful nonetheless it can give you an initial indication of what can be done with different categories of products so to quickly summarize we have growth rate on the vertical axis we have market share on the horizontal axis high growth rate high relative market share star low growth rate high relative market share cash cow high growth rate low market share question mark or a problem child and low market share in a low growth market it's a dog what do you do with each of these categories if it is a question mark build build it and convert it into a star if it is a star hold it preserve it if it is a cash cow harvest it and if it is a dog divest it build hold harvest and divest